silicone molds. Um, I was watching Tammy today and I thought, hmm, maybe I can do it. So I'm going to give it a try again and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited. Um, I've changed my recipe a little bit. I'm going to use some harder oils. So we'll see how this goes. And watch us as we make some bath bombs. So in my bowl, I have citric acid and bicarb. And I'm going to add some tapioca starch, about half a cup. Hopefully I'll have enough mixture here. And I'm just going to use my little sieve because there's so much processing that goes on with these. But I'm just going to get some of the bigger bumps up, bumps up. I've already broken my other one, so I have to go with a small one. Now I'm going to be using a little bit of oils in this. This should be, should be awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we're going to add the bath bomb bubble and I like to use SLSA powder, it's a nice one, <laughs> always, always put on the mask even then you get a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got all our dry ingredients in here now, I'm going to put in some cold oil and some um, turkey red sulfonated castor oil because that seemed to work really well the last time and as you see it kind of fizzes so we're going to get this going. Just a little bit of polysorbate, um, just in case um, that oil decides to do a little floaty thing. There's coconut oil in there, um, that'll help the coconut oil. Alright, so let's give it a check. I want it to at least hold, see it's not even holding yet, so we're going to add a little more oil. I'm going to add almond oil. So I'm going to add a little bit of my almond oil. We'll go again. together. I'm going to be adding fragrance oil and a binder so it's at least holding together when I do that. Let's see, it'll either work or it won't. It's kind of how bath bombs go. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And even if you've used the same, um, there we go, that's a little better. A lot better. There we go, we're fine. All right, so I'm going to divide this up into a few different colors. Hold on. All right, so the fragrance I've chosen is Fluffy Pink Candy. Um, love, love, love the scent. So we're going to be doing um, heart-shaped bath bombs. That'll be good for 
any time of year. Alrighty, so there we go. Divided it up. And we'll just do it one color at a time until we're finished with our, our bath on. So I'm just gonna start with the first color here. So we're gonna make the hot pink. Now I'm using Easy Colors brand. The distributor I used was Fizz Fairy. She now has her own company, but um, that's where I got these from. So if you want to either head over to Maria or Tina, it's up to you. Okay, so that is hot pink. And because these are both pink colors, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This, we're gonna do really, really bright pink. Whoa! I'm doing neon pink. Let's see, probably don't need very much of this. Is it a pigment? Yes, okay, so I'll need a little more in that one. All right, so let's mix these up. And I think I want the top to be this color, right here. And then we'll have that surprise in the middle with our embeds. And we'll finish it off with a white back. Alright. So I haven't added my binder yet. It's still awesome sauce. Check that color out. And this one. Oh, that's just pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna use the zippy. So I'm going to set this aside again because that's like kind of our last, last little bit there. Alrighty, so now we need to do a bit of spritzing. So, 
Hold on while I grab my spritzer. All right, so I'm using alcohol. So it'll be a little bit of foam. Not too bad. didn't I? See what happens when you get going too fast? Alrighty. Should be fine though. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that looks good too. So my brand spanking new mold is right here. I'll just move my embed. Is a Wilton mold and it's not silicone. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Um, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to put this in to each one of them. Whatever I've got left over, I will fit into my silicone mold and make those smaller band bombs. But when now, I will use the easy peasy mold that I've got right in front of me. All right, so let's get them fairly even. Love that pink. Now we're gonna push it around because I don't want a layer that's gonna break apart, so I'm gonna bring it up the mold. I think Tammy was telling me to do that, and I'm gonna leave plenty of space for all the embeds to hold to attach to something. So hopefully these will be perfect, perfect, beautiful, beautifuls that you can enjoy. So I'm going to put some blue, a blue in bed on each one. make any difference if I put them side by side, but I'm hoping by doing it this way, we'll have less fracturing. And I want purple. These wonderful little purples. The same size. Well, a similar size. So I want it to go shoo, shoo. Hopefully I didn't just ruin them. It's possible. And I want a little yellow tail on all of these. I'm going to use a yellow embed on the bottom. I 
get my other mold. Where are you hiding? Hold on. Last time I did this one, I think I just pushed too hard. So we're going to do six with this. As well. Just do these at the same time. I'm going to push up against the sides. Rather than down the middle, they bulged in the center. I don't know if you can see this but it totally bulged and I don't want that to happen. I want a nice straight heart because when they bulge, then they break. They're not perfectly straight. All right, so I'm going to do some spritzing and mixing of the white and we'll be right back. All right, so I have my white ready. I'm gonna pile it on like so. These are going to be heavy bath bombs. I hope that they, these I can push on the top like this. Not pack them down too tight. And enough that they're firm. Now I'm just going to use my little scoopy to the tops perfectly flat. And I'm going to just leave these in the mold this time. No, I'm not. I'll pop them out in an hour or so. Because I found that sometimes the metal molds or the plastic molds will expand and stick. And I don't want that to happen either. Just put that over there. If it's not flat, it's going to get an uneven surface and crack. So be real careful. Get them as flat as you can. So if you want one of my bath bombs, head on over to my Etsy shop. As soon as the demo is out on these, they'll be available. Hopefully the demo will be out same day that I release this video. If everything works the way I plan it on. Plan on it working. Alright, so those look good. I'm going to set those aside. I'm not in any rush to get them out. Just want to make sure everything's flat. So nice crisp edges. Super, super hard. And just set those aside. And get started on these ones. So these I'm going to put an orange and a blue. And do we have any more of that yellow? I think orange, blue, and yellow inside. So let's get these ones going. So I want it in there, but I don't want it to I want it to peek out. Ooh, those are kind of big for these little bitty bitties. I don't know, these might just be yellow and purple. Kind of do. That pink, I really do at least want some blue too, so I'm going to try to scooch it. I do. With the other one at the heart. Short. And two. And two. Yeah, we'll set them sideways. One. We 
this way there's plenty of bath bomb to bind them I hope and they won't split and purple actually we're going to get purple anyway so I'm going to stick an orange maybe these might be too big I reckon I'm going to have a half a one in there See, nobody's actually going to see the embed, I hope. doesn't matter if it's perfectly round. Let me see how this goes. that impression at the bottom. So I'm just going to go around the edges and do this. And then at the end, I'll put some more on top. But I don't want I mean, you kind of do have to work fast, but you don't really. Once you've got your stuff right, don't panic. Don't panic. Take it easy peasy. Don't start slamming it in there or you're just going to end up with a mess. Possibly just a whole bunch of bath bomb mix all over. We'll have to turn into fairy dust or something, which is something we, the bath bomb makers do make sometimes. In fact, especially with the bath bombs. Bath bombs are just hard, guys. You pay that price because <laughs> they're hard. $5 for a bath bomb? When only like half the time they turn out for new bath bomb makers. <laughs> That's not bad. Don't want to push it too much, but I'm gonna push it enough. I just wanna get rid of make sure they're nope. I pushed them so hard the last time. Oh my gosh. Now I am getting ready for Easter too, so I've got enough here to do an Easter egg. If you want an Easter egg, I'm using my, um, I'm getting new molds for my chocolates this year that I do for my kids, because I wanted to make bath bomb Easter eggs that I can somehow um, personalize. over here. Clean up some of my mesh. Because that fairy dust is good stuff. Don't want to mess with this. Lose a drop of it. So here's my ancient Easter egg. I don't know if this uh, is going to work or not. And I'm painting all of these. It should be super, super pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm going to do, hopefully, a little rainbow. Not. I'm hoping it'll shoot out the sides and out the top. 
only time will tell. She did it right. Hmm, we might have enough for two of those. I'm going to be making these like crazy too. It's amazing. When you have to get something in the mail, you really, really need to get it done early. So if you want either the Easter eggs, which will be uh, piped and painted, or and I can personalize them with this sticker um, at no extra charge. Um, it's time to get your orders in now. The small hearts, I think I'm going to retail at 5 the large ones at eight, and the Easter eggs again are huge, so they'll retail at eight as well. So if you're interested, come on over to my Etsy shop and send me an email if they're not on there yet with what names you want on them and um, all the information. I'm gonna try to get those up tonight so we can start getting your Valentine's and Easter plans set. So if you wanna give a treat with no calories, and it is so much fun to watch, I will have a demo. Um, at the end, or separately, probably, most likely, separate demo, um, or maybe both. We'll see what I can do. Do you tell I'm nervous? Bath bombs make me nervous. Okay, until next time, this is Jennifer from, Fur from Gentle Solves. Click subscribe if you want to help support my business and my my Etsy channel. Um, head on over to my my website if you want to purchase my products. Um, this has been really fun being here with you and I hope you had a good time. Thanks. Bye.